but United fans get angry. Anyway, let's talk about Arsenal. So the other day I saw pictures of Arsene Wenger's statue being uh, wheeled into the Emirates. And then I saw all sorts of, of, of people saying all sorts of nonsense things on Twitter. Uh, why is he getting a statue? Or so three leagues. Uh, so three leagues. Uh, Seven FAs. Yes. Uh, before I go on, Bran. It's a lie. I never once said Nunez would score more goals than Haaland. Never, <laughs> ever, ever. And who never, that? ever, Even me ever. as a Liverpool fan. The I only thing I see. said was when Haaland missed that chance in the community shield and people killed him, I said, guys, it's just yeah. the community shield. Mm. Never. I, I don't smoke, Nini. Not yet. I'm waiting for midlife crisis, Brian. Mm. Never. <laughs> but it's okay for you to say I said it's fine. Uh, never. I would, I would be crazy. I have been, uh, haven't I picked Haaland ahead of Mbappe? And you guys were you, like, you did. what am I on? Didn't did. I do that? Yeah. You did. I said I'd rather Haaland than Mbappe. And you guys were like, what? and I said, guys, I'm not saying talent wise. I know Mbappe is ridiculously talented. Probably the best football player in the world right now. But I said I'd pick Haaland. Yeah. Yeah, so did. then I have picked Nunez ahead of Haaland. And then I am, oh. I know I have multi-personality disorder, but it's not that <laughs> much. It's not, it's not that much, Brian. <laughs> It's not that much. But I know what you're doing now. You're scrolling down my Twitter to see where you can find a place where I said Nunes. The one thing I have said over and over again, Nunes will come good. Yeah. That I have insisted. Yeah. And Sammy keeps asking me, why do you say that about Nunes but not about Anthony? Anthony. Cindy, mm, that I have mm. said over and because I just have a feeling. I just like, he yeah. does a lot of things correct. Yeah. I feel like this other one will fall product. in place. Yeah. That's the only reason I keep saying it. Whereas I feel like the only thing Anthony does correct is tracking back and pressing. That's the only thing I feel like he does correct. I don't see the other, the other bits. Nunez, his runs, his contribution, his involvement, yes. everything looks okay. His only problem is in front of the goal, he seems to... Of course, ultimately, that's the most important thing about yes. him. So yes. I, I, so I, but I hope, even in a bad season, he scored, what, 19 goals? Yeah. 19, yeah, 17. I, I can't, guy, before you kill me, I think it was 17. 17 or 19. Yeah. I can't remember so, how many. I, I think 17. But he scored some. Season. So on a, such a bad season to start, he scored 17. Not too bad, given he started some games on the bench. He got red and carded here and there. I, so, but anyway, I don't, so I know. I have said that about Nunez. I think he'll come good. Will he be Firmino or no? Will he be Salah? No. no. But no, I think no, no. he'll become a decent yeah. footballer and, in the EPL. And EPA. next season, he's a player to, to watch next season. Especially when... Yeah. I've when, seen them training. I think for me, what I do for preseason, yeah, yeah I, I do watch the games for yes. preseason. But what I look for, it's not the, the goals or the, if you are winning or losing. Hmm. It's more or less just to see the players, how fit they look. Yeah. Yes, how fit they look, how the, the tactics, what different tactics the manager is trying to do. That's what I look That's what you look that's at. That's what I look at. Yeah. And for him, this season, he's looked fitter. He's faster this season. Him as, as well as Gakpo. Those are the players to watch for. I also season. think it helps when the big boys have gone away. Mm. You see, when there's no familiar shadow behind you every day, mm. when you like you you remove it, it helps the, the player explode. But I'm not saying he's going to be the next Suarez mm. before no. guys kill him. No. No? No, no, I'm just saying I think he'll end up having a decent career. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh will if he can go to greatness, hopefully. We all want players to be great. Obviously. I want all players to be great. All these guys, the greater they are, the better for the league, the better football we watch. We all enjoyed the, rugby, the football World Cup final because Mbappe was doing his thing, Messi was doing his thing, yeah. and it boiled down to penalties. Yes. Lovely. But uh, I, I just have... But it, and it's, at times, it's just a hunch. At times, I have, no, I have no logic why I say some things, by the way. So don't take me too seriously. Don't like uh -huh. hold me... To, at times, it's complete, utter madness in my head mm -hmm. that makes me say randomest things. Mm. And at times I am very right, at times I am very, very wrong. wrong. I thought Dean Henderson would replace the hair. Worst thing I have ever said on radio. <laughs> I, I thought think. so too. I also thought I, so. Worst thing I have ever said on yeah. radio because I was uh -huh. like, I, I, cause I know he plays with his feet. Hey, this Henderson fella, Kumbe is... He's Nottingham yeah. level. And that's Other the beauty of having opinions. Yeah. Yeah, it can so, be uh, very right, very wrong. Yeah. It's, yeah, and it, there's always a middle ground. Because yeah, but anyway, Brian, thank you so yeah. much for tuning in and for always listening and for always questioning me and for <laughs> always trying to get me on the wrong. I appreciate You are the guys who, who, who ideally keep me going and, and keep correcting me. They keep you on toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important because mm. I'm an old man. I forget these things half the time. Uh, I only remember old things. So like now I think Asen Wenger deserves a statue. I don't know when one of contrary opinion. <laughs> Just because I'm an old man, I'm supporting old men. When you think of Arsenal, when you think of modern Arsenal, Asen Wenger must always be there. Mm. Because he's the one who ushered Arsenal into one of their greatest uh, eras of success. Their oh, greatest yeah. eras of success. Because as much as people are saying he won three PL titles, seven FA Cups, 
the guy did so many things behind the behind the scenes yeah from the scouting from the diet from how the club became yeah Be- w- w- how a uh, manu and asenali rivalry came to yep. yeah he's the guy yeah you guy give the guy the statue yeah and something else also to add uh, he was the pivotal man the time they built up the emirates i think i re- i really i went into it to read a bit ab- about the the process because when when they wanted to to build em- the emirates stadium they went to a lot of banks and they couldn't get loans so they were told the ba- the bank that i think eventually yeah. gave them money they were told if you are going to give you money you need to guarantee that you'll be in this club for five years for stability yeah we need sta- stability here because we can't give you money and then you go and then it there's st- instability in the in the in the team mm. so we need you to be here for five for five years yeah we'll give you the money at the same time he couldn't spend as much as he wanted to yeah. because of the same reason they had to cut to cut the cost kidogo mm-hmm. so that they can get the money to to build the the emirates so i think on that aspect as well he had to sacrifice the best of his years the where he could have probably won more and moves and moves, moves to yeah, Bayern, I mean, yeah, moves to Real Madrid. There were several yeah, clubs that Barca. wanted him, mm-hmm. but he couldn't do that. He, s- he stick to it. So I think that s- gives him the character of the man he was. Yeah, and he was there for s- 96 to 2018, mm. very long period of time. So 22 he's years. About 22 years. I think if my maths is correct. Yeah, it is. Yes, 22 years. Yeah, 22 yes. years. Yeah. Oh. So he was and he ensured that that uh, that Arsenal are always in the Champions League. Start guy. Yeah, something that people used to used and to say people, number 4 is a yeah, trophy and, and people like, if you think about it. And then all of a sudden they realize Allah kumbe it of four calling it. Ines and appear. Ines and. So he made sure co- 20 consecutive times yeah. they were just in the Champions League. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I I think they the event even coincides with the uh, their 20th anniversary that they want to mark from the invincible season. And of course it's going to be in good company with the other guys that have their statues there, Thierry Henry with Tony Adams in there. Uh I think it was deserved that he gets it. I remember when he exited the club there was a lot of backlash there because they maybe they, they thought or maybe us and Wenger thought that they didn't t- treat him rightly. Just let not he thought yes they didn't yes they did they, they didn't, did they, they didn't, didn't treat him right yes but also maybe the only criticism would be he could have maybe left earlier yes yeah. earlier yeah. like yeah. maybe, and on his own terms maybe right? he could have left earlier on his mm-hmm. own Don't terms yes um ferguson was great at knowing when to leave yes like i'm out mm. uh I th- mm. maybe maybe he could have left after maybe two years earlier because i think the new age asana was getting all impatient yes yeah. mm. part of me wonders what he would have done if he got the current budget that as that Ateta is doing i just wonder what he would mm. have done i wonder mm-hmm. i just wonder what he would have achieved like with the kind of money that i'm seeing Ateta having now and the players he's able to get i mm. just wonder what he would have achieved because he never ever 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 worked with a big budget mm. for his yeah, whole he, at Uni- yeah. he never ever had a crazy budget and he went against a united with a big budget yeah. a chelsea with a ridiculous budget and a roman yeah. and then mm-hmm. of course the cities came in but he just i really wonder what if you know but just for what he changed football wise yeah signing teenagers getting a nelka getting Henri, getting recommending uh, patrick viera like he got this colo ture he just did things that were not possible and then he switched the game he brought these physical big guys okay mm-hmm. if you see that invincible team you're saying yeah. that team was mm. full of men that team was full of trees yeah. big people loron sol campbell coloture ashley cole big people and then he switched the game into what you, everyone enjoys currently where he had these small people it almost like it was a rule you have to be 59 mm. hey, all these small people samil mm. nasri mm. uh, kazola uh, mm. aaron uh, uh, wilshire ramsey, ramsey yeah. 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 small small people <laughs> mm. you know like his ability to just change and then of course the diet thing that they introducing uh, like he once said you english people eat too much meat and very little veggies him mm. changing all those things i think his impact in football goes way bigger than the three titles if you just look at the three premier league titles yeah. you might go like ah in 19 is a lot you know pep has i don't know how many oh. but i just think his ability to do it on a shoestring budget his ability to run every other thing in the club not yeah, just apart from like he runs Sydney, everything like yeah. he yeah. like he designed the dressing room yeah. actual design they said i mm. want it to look like this mm. yes and uh, he 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 is the last of those old school managers those ones who did everything 
Yeah. True, true. He's the last one. He's the last one who made sure uh, this is what happens. Yeah, like he was essential. And credit to Arsenal, they've managed to replace him by breaking down those roles into many, many, many positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they got yeah, Edu they to do did. one thing, yeah. they got her to do one thing, Ateta, everyone to do us because they realized he was doing everything. Whereas I think United took too long to replace Ferguson that way. Yes. Because yes, him and yes. Fagu are the last old school guys, mm. I think. But yes, we have agreed. He must have his statue. He should get his statue. And he is an all-time Premier League great. Great, yeah. yeah. If I was to do f- five top coaches in the in the history of Premier League, mm. he's there. If actually, I'll probably put him in the top three. He's there. I'd put him in the top three. Hmm. Yes. This. It's Ferguson one, Pep, and him. Mm. Mourinho lazima kuya Mourinho, Mourinho. I'd put Mourinho four because <laughs> of the because imp- of the simple fact Mourinho had a bottomless pocket True. and he didn't do it long enough and they have mm. the same number of, yeah he didn't do long enough and although the other question would be he took him 19 years to get three Mourinho took maybe six years to, to get, get three. three yeah but I mama it would be Ferguson Pep and Arsene Wenger that yeah. would be me anyway let's come back and talk about Sadio Mane Sadio Mane Yep, the name of the song is Mesmerized by Jarul and Ashanti. We are at what? 22 minutes on to one. 
Yeah, just about getting to the last ten, uh, uh, minutes of the show. Uh, Raf says, as and Wenger's statue was long overdue. And then Mr. Okubasu saying, I'm watching the Liverpool preseason game on mute while listening to you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, says, let's be honest here. Wenger never wanted to spend. Why? After he left, uh, Emery signed Pepe for 72. That guy was stingy like nothing. This is that thing we said. People never quite understood what was going mm -hmm, on there. Because it. we all know that Pepe thing was funny. And funny. it's the one they were paying 12 million every year for six years. Yeah. Yes. It was such a funny deal. Ilienda Nawatu. The guys who did that deal, all of them went. Eh? Oh, that's what they did, yeah. Yeah, the guy, who, the Kinagazidis. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. They, they all did. left. Yeah. 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 It was such a weird deal for such a weird And where player. is he, by the way, Pepe? He's somewhere in, in France. Africa's most expensive player. Is he still Africa's most expensive player? Uh, he probably indeed. is. He probably still is. At 72. Who's going for more than 72? Number uno. He <laughs> probably is. Yeah. He, yeah. he probably is, it which is ridiculous. <laughs> Come to think of it. <laughs> which is ridiculous. Yeah, Nicholas Pepe. Anyway, so guys, so Sadio Mane on his way to Al Nassar, uh, I tweeted and I said, great move. Mm. Let him go get his bag. Let him go get his NSSF. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I think it's a very, very good move. What is he doing in Europe? For what? Yeah. I think the guy just realized the Tuchel doesn't have him on his plans, yeah. and uh, and he saw how he his period at uh, Germany, and he saw eh, mm. eh, things are not working out. Let me just go back the money, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's been a good career for me. I've made I've won almost everything. I've won everything actually. Mm -hmm. So what's left for me? Yes. Chani ende uko, upambara na kina Ronaldo uko. Yes, son of the soil. I love money was one of my favorite, favorite players. Just up on a female up on a shikana up on Very good player, very talented player. But I think he was at his peak at Liverpool. Yep. Yeah. And when he went to Bayern, the injury, and it just didn't work out. It we happens. We actually, ag we actually yeah. asked on this show whether it would work at Bayern. Mm, mm, and we said, and, and none of us was proper skeptical. convinced. Yeah. And I kept saying, I just like the fact that he got paid well. Mm, mm. Because at Liverpool, he was grossly underpaid. Yeah. Yeah. So he just got paid well for a year, but it was never going to, because we kept asking, does he score enough goals mm. to be a nine? Yeah. We didn't think so. Yes. Yeah, and he that never scored true. enough goals. He scored seven goals last season. Yeah. I think I'm he scored sure. seven in, for Bayern in the league. Or yeah, something. in the league. In the he Bundesliga. scored seven in the league. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. He got injured. He fought with 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 Leroy Sane. He just never seemed to settle. Yes. And I feel Sami like, look, what 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 more does he have to do in Europe? Is he go make your tunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel the same. And the same feeling I had with even Edward Mendy leaving. As someone he, said, yeah, Africans, you you are playing for money, and that's the the sole reason. Actually, it's everyone in there. the world they are playing for money. But maybe well, well, more there, so there, there are some who've got the passion, who got the love for the game. That passion thing who is can overrated. Who can cheat the <laughs> game I am, I am, as by Lebron. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, like the, I like the in quotation means, you know what? <laughs> yes. I, I, I quote Esuakoto, who mm. said, no one plays football for passion. If you played football for passion, you'd mm. never leave your first team. Mm. You'd stay there for the rest of and your life. And that's another oh. conversation that has been going on on Twitter as well, mm. because of the Jordan Anderson move. People are mad, upset. Uh, see, they, they, Sammy was the king of... Uh, Makasiriko. No, what's your question? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, uh, uh, it was like a poison chalice for him to, to go and fill the boots of Robert Lewandowski because yes. it was... Uh, he's coming in in the system with Julian Nagelsmann, who is a different man, who was playing a different formation. And uh, the first few games, I think they worked. And then... Afterwards, when the formation changed with him going to the left hand side, them he him having a an issue with uh, with Ginabri on the on the left hand side, and Kingsley Coman goes back to the middle, and it didn't work for that. And then there's a change in manager, mm -hmm. and Thomas Tuchel has been clear, even speaking ahead of the the preseason, he said that he doesn't think that he has he's in the he's in the right space. He hasn't recovered well from the injury he got. So if you combine the injury that he got, that made him miss the World Cup. And then you think about the entire situation with, with Sane, the change of managers. I think he had uh, a difficult time. You know what I think? Mm -hmm. By the time Bayern are done with Tuchel, eh? the damage will be reversible. It will mm. take a mm. while to yes. <laughs> Even with the new technical directors? I just yeah. feel like I just feel like Tuchel is uh, is 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 say that his way he's too intense and he 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 
anavuruganga kuvuruga kuvuruga abrasive thank you yes thank you thank <laughs> yes, you yes he's abrasive he's abrasive yes. and i don't know what is like. you see what morinho used to do but morinho now it would take three years mm-hmm. but the same thing yeah yeah i feel like that like he's like, the, the, and the reason i feel that way is just one player the fact that he puts musiala on the bench i'm like yo mm. Musiala has to start talent. baba. Yes, uh, uh, that I agree with you. So uh, that's I what ma- so I feel yes. all these noises is making anyway I don't know. He, yeah. uh, he's getting Kyle Walker, I possibly might get her again who uh, knows. Yes, it has uh, to happen. So we will wait and see how that goes. But yes, I like the fact that you all agree. I know people are, the same week where Riyad Mahrez left. Mahrez yeah. Uh, he's hey. gone. Yeah. He missed 30 million pounds. Mm. It's not bad. And I think Pep said something that you know what the Saudis are now And you've seen that the proper tree. attack it's him Maxima and Firmino. That attack for the, the, the yes. Saudi club. And then when you look at it it's not bad. It's not bad. It's I, not I understand. Bad. I look I get why if you are that that you want that too you are going to Saudi. Um so I understand you know because already you are maybe just off your oh, peak a bit. Yeah. You're just starting yeah. to go down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I get it, but I just feel like it's it's such a such a shift man like they, they are dis- disruptors. And the I Saudi asked, yeah. they are just disrupted yeah, football. Yeah, the floor under their the feet yeah. has and been uh, Do you know when it's going to become uh, trouble? Uh, it's when they will get a player in the absolute prime. Yeah. A yeah, big I agree. name. I agree. Oh, yeah. That's yes, what they yeah, are waiting for. Yeah. The day they get a guy who's 27 or 28, yeah. who is easily the best player in Europe or one of the best players in Europe. Yes. I think that is... Because now they, they are still getting 30-year-olds. That, okay, I know Neves is a, is a, is a, a different option. And Jordan yeah. from Celtic. Yeah, and Jordan. Yeah, yeah. But, those, but those ones are like... In, in the hierarchy of football, they are like B. B, B class. Yeah, talent. B class, yes. Mm-hmm. The day they'll get an A. Mm. Now that's when. Okay. Okay. A Bruno no Fernandes, <laughs> a Kevin De Bruyne today, a Bernardo Silva today, mm. a Bukayo Saka Even today, Salah. an Odegaard oh, today, a Haaland. Uh, and Haaland today. Yeah. I think the shift will be complete. Oh. But as it is there, Oh, mm. I, actually, I had a different opinion with Marco Silva last week and I think we, we, we saw one Alali with Jaisle, Matthias Jaisle, who's, yes. who's leaving from Salzburg to... Uh, yeah. to I also think if they get a high profile coach then also that raises up the the feeling about them. Yeah, 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 they also are looking to get this. Steven Gerrard is not. In, no, no, no. no, no, no. Remember the, after Stay missing out Santo, of course. Yeah? Mbappe slowed down their their efforts to bring a superstar but now they want to go for Simon. Actually, let's come back and and talk about Mbappe. <laughs> yeah, as we end the show is quarter to one. Let's come back to about Mbappe. Alionea is asking me, "Jembo banli yako bao gani yomulifungwa? Honestly, hata kama ni pre-season. Uh, my guy, I don't watch nothing pre-season. Like I don't watch football. If I find even highlights like this on TV, I'm not interested. My football is one. Premier ya kwanza ya season. Hata si community shield. Hizi zingine zote si watch. And Having said that, wachana yeah. mimi. Na say, what do you think of your signings? The Burnley signings. Tuko na goalkeeper. They're England good. They're really good. Ah, They're really good signings. No, no. In fact, our our digital guy has won an award. This is the way we, we release our players. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know much about them. Eh? Fantastic. No, I just see random players have been unveiled. The, I'm like... The announcements are just top Yes. Notch. And you see our coach called for pre-season... Like a month ago, I don't know what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, it was early. They one of the earliest. I don't know what he's doing, season. but I assume he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's, 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 he's Vincent company. Yeah, it's all about graph. I remember when they they won promotion. The following day, he just gave them one day off, and then you're back into action. So. I don't know what he's doing. So it's a bit. I'm a bit worried because. <laughs> but then it's important because we, we talked about them losing a couple of players. Who yes, because they had a lot of players on loan yes, as well. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. and of course no, we have. No, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and now Kinavego, so Merudi, now the others who are coming into the team, they need some time to just gel together and know like, so the only laying pl- the foundation the only player i know we have serious we have side is mm. the goalkeeper yes james rafford ingine who redmond in leona juzi was not you are experience i'm like hey, hey are you sure but he'll, he'll be the godfather there he'll yeah? find his way experience. but it's okay in our coach we trust we are poor man's man city and <laughs> our target i can i repeat 17th position that is seven points hizo zingine zote ni story and your, your first game home. is against uh, city hata sijui yes. it's, 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 it's usually, it's usually, it's it's usually it's against the defending yeah. champions yeah, yeah. i think it's city yeah, yeah, you, the the number one, the number You will just, just eat start calculating five. minus five. But <laughs> it's okay. You see, City, City, <laughs> City, Burnley. Yeah, even when we were back in the Premier League, they just used to beat us five. You go check. Yeah. Just used to be Mkono. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. itakuwa tu Mkono. Lakini ni sawa. That seven points. Mko sawa. <laughs> <laughs>
if I had my way, this song would just play to the end of the show. I'd put it on 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 loop, but I can't because we have to talk about other things, and it's because Sami kept us going on that his new striker, and we couldn't stop. And yeah, so as at ten minutes on to one, let's go. Let's start with Sami. Uh, not to start with Teddy. Teddy, you uh, you a man has finally retired at age thirty seven. Yeah. Um, one of the greats, all time greats, and all time city great. Ah, for me, he is. But City has too many all-time greats at Anyanyi. Everyone who has two all-time greats. But you see, th- you also look at the impact they've done in the in the EPL, what they've done, yeah. how long they have been in at, the, at uh, their prime. And mm. uh, they're the new age uh, City, you know? When you think of City, most of people are Tanzania are 2010 years. So of mm. course it is. Yeah. But they're really the, they're the definition of the new age. Um, uh, um, Yaya, Aguero, Sil- uh-huh. yeah. Silva... Mm-hmm company yes and that's why for mm. me he's Hat. my best nah jo- <laughs> ah no jo- Hat, no sorry no nah no for me i'd say he's the best uh, spanish midfielder to be in the apl <laughs> that's <laughs> yes yes like Mourinho. for me he is he is, he is. for me he is because just his first touch for for a player for myself to get such quality is you only dream it's like a dream for you and what he did on the pitch thank you thank you thank you so much yeah about this the the best Spaniard in the in the league in the he that is. one we, ha- we will have that conversation because those <laughs> those Javi Alonso took turn yeah he didn't stay long enough yeah, yeah. took turn stay long enough <laughs> Javi he was really good he but really didn't stay long enough mm. his best years came at yeah. Madrid, at Madrid. Yeah. and at Bayern mm. Mm. did Bayern. he want to go to Bayern did he go to Bayern? Yes, yes he, he is. Yes. He did. Yeah. He did. At Madrid and Bayern, I think he was his top, top, top. top. top yeah. yeah. I think the only player who we argue with in terms of best Spaniard in the Premier League, I think it's Sesc. 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 Silver. Silver. Or, or Silva. Yeah, because I think the longevity as well. Yeah. So for him, I think one of the most talented players, he, he was a joy to watch in the midfield. He could pick those passes very good in small spaces. He wasn't the strongest but he's one of the most intelligent footballers out there. Yeah. So for me, yeah, just talent, sparks. Small, the, small, small, very one-footed. Very I saw a Joe Hart quote where he said, yes. so small, mm. so horribly one-footed, <laughs> so weak, but you can't but get you the ball off him. That's the thing, yes. And, and I saw, an, I, st- I should share you guys that story. It was done by Sid Law of The Guardian, where he spoke about, everyone talks about his beauty and grace and possession and vision and passing. Mm-hmm. Not many people talk about his toughness. Mm. See, he was tough as nails. Mm-hmm. He was never afraid to tackle. He was never afraid to get tackled. Like, you bring it on. He's mm-hmm. hard. And it's that group of Spanish midfielders. Because Santi Cazola was the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really good, yes, yes. but tough as nails. Yes. Like, you can't get the ball off him. Yeah. So, yeah, I, 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 I hear you. I, I, yeah. yeah. I think it is. he has a statue already. Yeah, he does. He yes. Has, he okay. has a statue. The first three, yeah. Well, I thought it was quite unfortunate that he ends it uh, through injury. Uh, at Real said that of course maybe it would have been but a better. But he gotten them into Champions League. Yes, he gotten them yeah, into the into the Champions League and played over seventy six games for them. So him returning was 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 brilliant. His career has uh, has gone so well, even with Spain winning the World Cup, winning the two Euros. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I was I was looking at the stats from the last decade now, from the twenty tens. He was the guy with the most assists in the Premier League. Eighty six of them, even ahead of of Cesc Fabregas and Akina Kevin De Bruyne. So I think his impact was was really huge and understated. It, yes, understated. And <laughs> there is that one technique that I read about about La Pausa, which has been so praised about him just getting the ball on one touch and just buying a second when the rest are, are hurrying around. The moment freezes for him and he sees the mm. entire picture. I think it was brilliant for him. So happy retirement to him. So that uh, that's him. Uh, and then, of course, quickly, uh, Chelsea have this obsession with Casado. <laughs> uh, their mm. deals keep getting turned down. Is <laughs> Brighton? Is Brighton? Is uh, aren't Brighton taking advantage of Chelsea, or is Casado worth a lot more that, that that which the amount it is that they're asking for? Well, well, uh, Tony Tony Bloom himself is is not that. An easy negotiator. He, he's gotten some really good deals in the past. Even when you think about Marco Correa, who is a recent guy that you, we always talk about. Yes. Um, he's. He. I, I think what he's doing is studying the market, and and Chelsea themselves have put themselves into this hole, because mm-hmm. they are the ones who started dictating the market for midfielders with signing Enzo Fernandez with the amount of cash that they did. And so. Oh yeah, they are the ones who set it all going. Yeah, true. <laughs> yes, they, they said, yes, mm-hmm. they said the wheel rolling, and then we've had the recent one with Declan Rice going for 105. So, 
Brighton are looking at it and thinking, so if he can go at 105, maybe we can actually milk more than 100 million from this, so we'll keep on rejecting yeah. the bids. And, and he still has a running contract in 2027. And he signed a new contract, so that as well doesn't help, because now the bargaining power of the club much higher. Have mm-hmm. the and Chelsea well. need him. Yes. yes. Chelsea need a DM and as a bonder. Yes. Mm. I mean, you lose Mason Mount, you lose Kovacic, you lose Golo Kante. You're left with Kondo Galaga and Enzo Fernandez. And Enzo and needs Enzo a bouncer. Not, yes, yeah. he needs yeah. someone who is going to, to hold for him because even he's by his own assessment, he wants to be an advanced yeah. Yeah. guy. But guys, but guys is mm. Casado worth that much? Man? No, I don't think he is. He's not worth that. Okay, he's granted, Hoyland is a 80, a 80 or 85. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah. Rice is 105. Yeah. So, granted, the, the prices are crazy, but yeah. No, he's not. It's just the fact that uh, Brighton have the ace card and the joker right beside ah. them. Yeah. So they're like, come to you. We are placing <laughs> yeah, the joker. <laughs> I mean, it's 100 million yes. or nothing. Yeah. Uh-huh. They're not budging. So a couple of seasons in the Premier League from Indel Valley in Ecuador. Mm. And that's a huge amount. And, and it's overpaying. And at the risk of being <laughs> told, and at the risk of being told, I, I get at United all the time. What were those rumors that Anthony Valencia had told them, please take a look at this kid? Wow, I, I didn't see it. I'll, I'll check. Mm. I'll Google it. And ch- I think I can remember seeing something like that. Like, guys, just take a look at this kid. Mm. Oh, I think at the start of COVID. Or this, oh, okay. I, I remember told. there were interests. Yeah, like, but guys, then we just, just, we just went away from it. Look at this. You know, just, just, just have a look. Uh, yeah, okay. at the risk of no, being, you win, you win at, there. At the risk you, of being you told, win, <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you win on that front. You win on that, that front. That, that might have mm. happened. So yeah, so because Chelsea have Chelsea are very busy, and very 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 busy. Items. I saw them. They've been linked with an guy called Ugo yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nig- see, right? Nigerian oh, so, from from France. Yeah, I think I saw that yesterday. Oh, uh, but the idea is, I think the conversation is mm. uh, that the uh, the Nigerian guy. Mm. I think Brighton want wanted to buy him to replace Kaiseido. In case Kaiseido goes, uh-huh. that go in place. So Chelsea wa kona ni nini muna tukataza Kaiseido. Okay. We are going for your replacement and you're still coming for Kaiseido. Uh, uh, yeah, same yeah. situation. So it's just pettiness around there. <laughs> <laughs> Even yes. Chelsea fans. Chelsea fans are so upset with Brighton. His, his name being uh, Ugochuku. Leslie Ugochuku. Ugochuku. Situation yes. with the, one of the Saudi um, We want it. Uh, now we are coming for your coach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you see, you see the, petty, petty. Petty. Yeah, and, and, and remember also there there was the involvement of Le- Le- Levy Colwell who was also in the deal. Yes, mm. exactly. And Chelsea walked away and, they, and they're like, we want to keep Levy Colwell. So yeah. Yeah. I think Brighton are also like, okay, now so let's play hardball. Keep on with the pettiness. We're enjoying it. Eh? <laughs> Higher. So now that we're talking about, uh, let's, we mentioned the Saudis. So, Mba- I, so I hazarded a guess that PIF would come from Mbappe. <laughs> they came from Mbappe. <laughs> PIF. Uh, yes, it's PIF. It's, it's, they are, it's PIF. It's yes, the it public is. investment. 80% yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yes. the PIF. So mm. they came for him and then he said no. I'm like, Mbappe really has PSG by the cajones. Mm-hmm. He really has them by the cajones. The agents. Okay, I remember, I, remember I, was, I was of a different opinion about whatever he's doing. But yes, that's what he's doing. He has, he, he's he, like, he, it's like I don't care for that deal. Yeah, me, I thought he would have gone because the deal is too good to be Kukata. Be hey, <laughs> I'm actually, looking at those dollars. These was, um, hey, <laughs> but for me, actually, it's I'm, too a, good I'm one of be. those in that small category where I was mm-hmm. like, uh, as much as it's a really, really good deal, I don't think for an an all time great per se, Yani Munyanena is coming into that kind of groove to mm-hmm. go to Saudi Arabia because. As much as yes, you're getting that kind of money. You always so, want no, to no, be at the, the best. No, no, but the deal is at mm-hmm. the end of the, the, the season of it goes that to year. Madrid. You go yes. to Madrid where you wanted to go. Yeah, I don't disagree so, with that. So, in a word, yes. where will be, and I want just one word. Where is Mbappe at the start of the season? At the end of the of the transfer window? PSG. PSG. On the bench. <laughs> yeah, PSG. <laughs> I think it says. <laughs> PSG. Yes. So, uh, PSG was Jibambe. In On his bid zero. Mm-hmm. Yes, that... Uh, Oliver it's unfortunate that it's looking personal, but up on the Now, I, 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 I spoke to you guys about uh, players, every player coming out and saying a, a big goodbye. Mm. So mm. I liked the Jordan Henderson one. Is it 12 years at the club? Yes, 12 yeah. Years. yeah, you know, and I thought that's what United should have done with the hair. You know, 
But then I saw this one of, of uh, Alan St. Maxima. Four years ago, I wore the Newcastle jersey for the first time. And at that moment, I hadn't realized that not only was I about to become a Newcastle player, but also to become a Jody. You might think that nice goodbye message, but the sentiment runs deeper than any words I could say. From the very first months that I met the people of this city, I truly understood them and embraced their unwavering passion, which is why it was so important for me to give my all. And this meant to play injured and not even take, making the statistics. I didn't give a two as long as it would help my team. Believe me, I fell for Newcastle. I had great opportunities to live during the dark days, but that was too late. I was already in love. Blah, blah, blah. I love you. I love you sincerely like a Jody brother. Once a Jody, always a Jody. And I was like, I know we are in the era of talking to, to connecting <laughs> to, yeah. with fans mm -hmm. and, and stuff, yeah. but guys, it's four years. Isn't no. this an overkill? Yes, it is. I think you have to earn that. You have to stay long at a, at a club for you to earn that uh, uh, platform for you to say goodbye to your fans, you know? Like you, like all yes. that, like, I understand you saying by the way, cheers, I'm out. But all this love, but you only been here for four years and you've left for the, for the petrol dollars. Uh, yeah. Yes. The most like, I feel like it's, I feel like you, you, I agree with you. Like you have to earn, like you, like you've been there 12 years, you've been mm. there eight years, mm. you've been there nine years, you've been here mm. four years. Wait. Uh, you are, what have you really done in the four? I'm not sure you've really done much in the like 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 what's the level of 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 achievement in the four? But now we are I don't know, maybe I'm just being cantakaras and old. Yeah, you're being old school. No, what's, what's the what's the, like this? What's the issue? No, I so much, just, yeah, no. I oh, think I love sending a no. message for here's a club my, that is my issue. Here's my issue. Oh, I love this club so much. I am so in love with this club but for I the four years. Go. But I have ah. to go to Saudi. <laughs> it's a fear. <laughs> it's a fear. No, just say cheers. I'm out. Adios, I card, thank you. I feel yeah exactly. Like Thank you I feel like us. it's overdone. That's my point. I feel like we overdo. It's a bit like those things. You know, one of the things I don't apologies up against. I really dislike those things. Like, those those ones like well. in a, uh, when you think about it, though, it's a different generation that Newcastle United are getting themselves into. And this guy was in between that whole period when everything looked bleak for the for them under Ashley Ashley Martin Ashley or uh, yeah, Michael Ashley. The, or yeah, yeah, the Ashley, Ashley guy. Yeah. Yes, he was still there, and it's the Jordy, the years, Jordy. man. In the north, they love years. they love those guys. It's just they, four years. they love those guys, and it's he knows that four. he has something. He just four, and he 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 bolted out at the slightest hint. He oh, chui, I'm out. Think it's so. like if Sadio Mane now comes and does something. Oh dear, what, what do they call Mia San Mia? And then he goes on and on, and we are like, nah, wait, what? I, I, I get Jordan <laughs> Henderson doing it. Yeah. I get Henderson doing it. I get uh, uh, Mares. Uh, Mar Mares was there for how many years? Um, Five, six, six, six. After six, the later season, six mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't even think even Mares was this. Uh, I cool that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Mares' demanding. period at Leicester mm -hmm. would have earned him that. Yeah. Ah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, for I, I don't I don't Maxim, think you need to earn anything for you to pen down a farewell letter. I think no, you have it's a farewell you can, message. look. My problem is not it's a farewell message. It yeah. is it the, it's overdone. It's overcooked. It's like when your eggs are overdone, they are well done when they could be over easy or sunny side up. And maybe to add on that, if you look at these goodbyes, ukiangalia sometimes they even look similar. It's it sort of looks like a PR thing. Okay, yeah. I mean, the way it's written, the words that are used mm -hmm. always Calm sort the of waters. similar. So sometimes that are probably it's not even the player himself mm -hmm. who does the writing and all that. It's just somebody else who who does it for them. I understand. I, 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 I get the need to say goodbye. Easy, yeah. Don't go in the middle of the night. It's okay. Come out, say goodbye. That's okay. <laughs> I agree. I just feel like I we've done too much, man. Like, oh, you know, the Jodies once a Jody, always a Jody. You are here for four years. You, you, you. I, I, I don't know how much you have to show for the four years. I don't know, man. I don't yeah. know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let, let the Saudi Arabia come for me, Mtaona. I'll write you a story. Eh? Yeah. A novel. <laughs> a novel. Yeah. You guys. Ay, 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 ay. Three, uh, a, huh? a, a thousand billboard. words. A billboard will be up on Moy Avenue. Ay, you a guys. Ah, a thousand words. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's just me being picky. Maybe it's just me not understanding. But I just felt like it was overdone. I felt like it was overdone. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had great opportunities. Can, no. I, can I ask you a question? Yes. Assume you are a Newcastle fan. Yes. Of course you are frustrated. I feel nothing for Maxima. You. Zero. If I'm a Newcastle fan, no, after reading it, and as, I, he's, doesn't he's, change anything. He's buttering me up. He's just <laughs> making us feel great. This, yeah, and, I know and, what and he, he still did. expresses. No, the it, kind of satisfaction he got from your support. There is no said no, no. It's only for if he really loved my support. Stay on and fight for the club. Just stay on. You think he, you think you would, 
You think okay, he wasn't he wasn't going to start the Newcastle United. That was clear now. Fight for your place. You say the way you love the club. Yeah. Stay and fight mm. for your place. I just don't feel like I feel like you have to have achieved a level of achievement with the club, either longevity or trophies, yeah. and a connection with the fans for this to I didn't talk about Jordan Henderson. I didn't. Because I thought he deserved it. He is the captain who has who was in charge when they moved on from so 30 years mm. and the Champions League. The, like yeah. he's achieved it all in the 12 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, mm. And he if, even when you look at his as much as I don't like looking at stats just as stats, mm. you look at his assists, you look at him like, yeah, he's the, the boy done well. He I understand, but it's just four years, been here four years. You how many games have you played in the four years? How many did you miss? How did, like and then we are here. I understand you saying goodbye, but I feel like it's overdone. Like, like it's it's over. I feel like just overdone. I'm not saying it's bad to say goodbye. Yeah. I just feel like this mm. particular one is so overdone. Okay, but important to note also in his second year, where the way he was so bright in the league, he would have easily walked away from the situation he was in at Newcastle United, but opted to stay. And has led them now to where they are right now. And now when they're in the Champions League, where the lights yeah, shine brightest is when he's leaving. Okay, you man. want me to believe that? After... Check. <laughs> now when the light when the light shine that's the brightest one. in the that's Champions League <laughs> it's when he's leaving not to another Champions wow, League wow. team not to another team not mm. to Real Madrid mm. or Barcelona no 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 mm. it's not Gundo going to Barca no, uh, uh, no it is going to your owners too hey. The same owners that own your club you get it still part of the family you get it still part of the family <laughs> <laughs> don't buy it. But anyway, it is good. I like it when the players talk to the fans. I, it's yeah. a good thing. So yeah. I, I'm not, I just feel like it was a bit overdone. I could be wrong, guys. I'm, I'm wrong on more than I am right anyway. But I just feel like it was a bit overdone. Like, like just say goodbye and go. Say goodbye. In fact, if you had time, I would actually have checked what Mares said. Whether Mares also took us on the way. Love from the bottom of my heart. Mm. Uh, I wonder whether that's what he did. I, I can't remember. I remember seeing the video. The, yeah. And they had a video of him arriving and what. Uh, nah, nah, yeah, there he is. Hey. His is actually small. It was a poster. It, I think no, was, yeah, no, no. He did the whole thing. And then he said, today marks the end of an unforgettable journey. A five-year journey filled with countless memories before leaving. I want to thank the board, the manager, and the staff for giving me the chance to prove myself to my teammates, both past and present. Sharing the pitch with you has been a pleasure. Together we've broken countless records, achieved what seemed impossible, never stopped believing in ourselves during the challenging times we faced. Our last season will forever be remembered in our club and beyond. I'm proud to have been part of it. Finally, I want to thank you, citizens. Thank you for making me feel like part of your family from day one and giving me the confidence every time I stepped onto the pitch wearing this shirt I'm forever grateful for your support and your love today I leave but I will never forget any of you I wish the very best of City until we meet again thank you Riyad Adios, it is probably half the size of the one for <laughs> Manani. anyway guys let's go thank you so much everyone who's spoken to us uh, is the reason why we are trending as always Asante Nisana again we apologize for the internet hiccups and technical hitches at the start these things do happen and as always your feedback your comments your everything is so valuable to us it's what keeps this show going it's what keeps us going it's what keeps me away from uh, degenerating into an into too old a man it keeps me just here and and keeps these young people going. So continue showing them love. As always, Hilda is getting quite a bit of it on on air. That's very nice, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Chep likes her football, but we agreed she's not tiny. Yeah, that's no a, little. That's the wrong or little. That's yeah, not yeah. the right word to use on a lady. Yes, let's. In fact, we should just dedicate five minutes to tell you adjectives you can use on Hilda. Ah, oh, Wingini, I don't care. You can tell them anything, but the lady must be treated like a lady. <clears throat> Sours. Oh, if you missed uh, any of uh, the whole show. We will be posting uh, them on Afripods. You can get them. Mm. Any of the shows on uh, Nation FM. And uh, if you are trying to join the FPL uh, Fantasy for Football Fix, join in. We'll be putting our the shareable the link. They'll yeah. share the link. Mm. So you guys can join in. Yeah, we need as many people in that league. Whoever wins that league, I'll give them small prize money. Mm. Small mm. money. Small, small. Do you let you have a nani lunch? You <laughs> uh, I will. You will contribute from did that my pocket. Small one to, to take someone for lunch. Did so, Sammy on his debt? <laughs> nah, it's just Sammy. Sammy, Sammy, where? Sammy was to buy us lunch. He, he went, disappeared with it. <laughs> A big man. Yes, he didn't. At least I honored mine. You have your shirt. Yeah, I honored you, mine. Thank you, thank you. Sammy, Sammy, but anyway, yeah. So guys, if you can join the fantasy food, uh, fantasy league, uh, we'll keep putting that link up over and over. Even I will share it. Yeah. I don't know much about it, but I'll share it. 
you tag on it let's go join in the league next season beat these guys mm. we get small uh, we'll have a small prize at the end i will try I so will. if any one of us wins badu tapata your prize it's okay i, I know you guys won't win the guys out there are better than <laughs> you Ooh, <laughs> come on the okay. guys who listen to this show are better than you three in that fantasy thing okay. i am right. sure all right so That's the prize right. will go to them but if you beat them i will give you mm. Mm. Yeah, it's okay sita kona ubaguzi extra motivation as at 9 minutes past 1 we past our time to leave here we beg to leave again asanteni sana guys let's do this again next weekend as always the hashtag is a football fix from chep teddy and sami good afternoon